So here we have three root spas set up in line for a level control system. That's the level control tank. That's the full tank. And that's the supply tank. Since there are no level tubes, like this one, on the inline units because they're all coupled together, we mix the air with the nutrient solution with the long hard sticks, 3 eighths, this air tube material. And we get plenty of bubbles. So the roots are getting plenty of oxygen with this setup. And now we just need to hook a recirculation pump, an airlift pump, to complete the equation. So here's the airlift pump you saw in the demonstration. This is the prototype. And this is the one we're going to use. I'll drill a hole in this bucket lid big enough to accept this size too. So now we have a hole plenty big enough for the two for the uh, Airlift pump to to extend beyond the top of this. We're extruding about two and a half inches out of the bubble. Now I've cut this down to 16 inches. The tube is 16 inches long. And that's plenty good. So all we need to do now is hook this up to the air pump and put a tube out here to go to the level control tank. Right here to replenish the supply, the nutrient supply. For the water hose, we're going to use an elbow attached to a 3 8 inch vinyl tube. We'll drill a hole in the uh, top of the level control bucket to accommodate this elbow. We move the bucket over, the reservoir, the supply reservoir over, so we can drill a nice hole to accommodate that. Here we go. Now go into the top of the level control bucket. Replenish the recirculation of the nutrient solution. We're ready to hook up the air pump line now. So we'll get the water flowing. All we want to do, we're going to use a double outlet pump. And I made up a little connection here using a T, quarter inch T. We're going to do a double outlet. Because we want to get plenty of flow between the last bucket and the level control bucket. Okay. We're going to turn on the pump to full blast and see what we get. Wow. That thing is really pumping. I think I'll let it go that way because I want to get a good recycle setup going. And this looks like a really good flow. So I think this is going to work great. Wow, it's really no one. Now if you would turn that down to a one out of that pump, you'd get about half that amount, which would probably be plenty actually. I'd like to get that little better. So let's summarize everything here. We have 
three root spar buckets tied together with a common line, half inch line, to a level control bucket. Now, if you look at the video that I made on level control, you will notice a float valve installed right about in the center, a little above the center, that you can adjust to control the level. Now, when you control the level in this bucket, which you can see here once you pull the air supply, see this air supply keeps, keeps this nutrient agitated, which is a really good thing, and aerated. So when you control the level in this bucket, it automatically controls the level in all three buckets in the line. Then, of course, on top of the level control bucket, you have the nutrient supply reservoir. Now this would change, you would want to make this larger for more buckets in the line. You want to be able to supply nutrient solution for quite a, quite a number of days, so if you want to go away, you can just kind of leave it and let it take care of itself. Anyhow, the more buckets you have in the line, say you had 20, then you would want a considerably larger nutrient reservoir and you would mount it probably on some kind of a stand above the level control bucket. And it's the recycle line is working great. Here let's pump. Beautiful. Now, to make this thing maintainable, we'll start with the level control bucket, and we come to the outlet here, and we have a stop button. This is in case you want to isolate the level control bucket from the rest. Say you need to remove it to do some kind of cleaning or maintenance, you can just isolate it here and pull it out. Each bucket is hooked up exactly the same. In the bucket, the coop you can use to drain the whole system. So it's a very maintainable system. It's very, very easy to take care of, and it's actually just about automatic. So that's about it. You've got to love the simplicity of this. Like I say, keep it simple. And thanks for watching.